going to see one of the main automation IDE from the JetBrains. In recent time, I have just seen that there is an IDE from the JetBrains for the preview for the users, which is very specifically for the automation testers. I just want to share the preview of this one to the entire users. Let's see how it works. Let's go to the official documentation or the official site for the JetBrains for the Aqua IDE. This is the first time I am seeing something IDE for the test automation and here you have two options whether you can download the entire IDE or you can get a plugin for your existing JetBrains IDE. In my case, I am going to download the entire Aqua IDE. Once you download, you need to have an account in the JetBrains. Either you can create the account in the JetBrains or you can existing, you can existing Gmail account also you can use it. Since I have already downloaded, I don't want to waste your time and let's open the Aqua preview. By default, it will try to find all the projects from your site, let it be a Java or Selenium projects. For my case, I am going to create a new project. When I started to create a new project, I found there is a different generators available inside the Aqua where you can generate the code for Selenium. Whereas the Eclipse or let's say the other IDEs will have only the Maven archetype or general other types. But we will not have any specific template for the Selenium. Here you can find the Selenium template which will be called as a generator. And here I am giving some name. Aqua first. And here you have the option to create with Java, Kotlin or Groovy. And here you have the build system either Maven or Gradle. I am going to go with Maven. And I am going to use the TestNG framework for the testing purpose. And other things remain as it is. And here you can mention the Java version. Or you can download or you can add the JDK. For example, I am going to use the 1.8 from my system. And here you have the checkbox called Add Sample Code. This will create a page object model. Which means that it will create the page class and the page test class. I am going to check on that. And next. Apart from that basic configuration, here you can see the different option for the execution and reporting part. For example, you can use the different reporting system like a Serenity report or let's say GDI light report or let's say the Selenide options. You have multiple things and sometimes you might be using Allure report also. Here I am going to go with Allure report. Apart from the normal distance assertions, you can have existing other assertions as well. For example, Hamcrest or AssertJ. And here you can choose the different option Selenium 3 and Selenium 4. Let's say I go with the latest one and create. So from now onwards we will see what are the different other options also have when compared to the other IDs and how it will be helpful for the test automation engineers. Here you can see the structure has been created and by default it will create two sample classes. One is the main page dot java, another one is the main page dot test java. Sorry, main page test dot java. Basically main page is the sample template to open your main page or let's say the page object model as per the page object model. It will give the sample page and here you can see which of the you are, you are going to create a page that page can be given as a commands. And here you can see the different other options like a find by annotations. If you are from already from the page object model and page factory, you will be knowing this one. And here you can see the constructor, which means that this constructor will be receiving the driver object. After that, it will initialize all the page factory elements. And page test, you can write the sample code. Here by default, there will be a sample code to open the Chrome driver and to get the actual URL and obviously we will be creating the object for the page and the after method you can add some more things also and there are some other sample test cases as well so this will be the very sample template by this we can understand how the page object model works or you can edit or you can update something now let's say i am going to create a new object or let's say new page object so right click new and here you will find the new option called selenium page object which means that here you can give some page you want to create a page within a less time then you can use this option 
let's see for example I am going to create the demo page so general naming convention we will be having the demo page and here you can have some options also let's open some sample page SAS demo copy this URL and give this URL here it's optional but still we can give it and demo page or let's say we will make the SAS demo home page and language obviously we are using the Java and selenium you can use other and you can create the custom let's say the custom framework also as of now since it's a very basic introduction about the aqua we will go with selenium okay since you have given the optional parameter page URL by default it opens the web inspector this is one of the main point about the aqua that means that as a test automation engineer you don't need to switch between the browser and your test cases here you can see the same web page here and other beautiful things also in the coming picture for example here you can clear the browser cookies and you can just enable the pop-up windows there are other controls also you can do for example let's see I am going to just find the locator for this so generally if you go to the browser you will right click and inspect but here you can use the locators evaluator just click here and locate this here you can find one match which can be a, like a CSS input ID username still you can find the 10 different variants right so this way you can create the locator as well as you can find the other different locators in case if you want to change to the different locators in the variant section you can see starts with ends with contains everything you can see and the same way just go to your page class let's consider this is your page class right go to the end and put some places and just right click on the locator where it got selected here you can copy the locator or you can add the element to the code here you can see directly it will add with the syntax under the java code as well so that means that you just need to use that variable input username into your test code either you can rename by default i have seen most of the time it generates a, a valid or let's say a good name for the element names so input username or let's say you don't want to go with css let's say your team all people are working on the let's say the xpath then you can look into the xpath here you can see it generates the same code for the xpath and what are the other options so by default if you want to generate the xpath every time you can change it here now again just go to the evaluator click here yes here it is adding so that means that either you can go here you can just change it to an element by the code by the xpath or you can add it from here also because sometimes the HTML will be more complexity so that time you cannot go to the a specific node and right click on those things you can directly do from here as well so this is one of the best part that you can find it and you can directly add the code from here and after that as usual you will be having the different options basic options on the refreshing the page and other option settings right still you want to go with the developer tools or you can use that same thing here if you want to do something because if you have habituated with something on the console or dev tools you can still use it from the dev tools here and if you don't want to see the screen you can just click on that one more time it will go so this is a very good option I can see in the aqua IDE apart from that there are other options also like Eclipse and JetBrains other IDEs where you can run your let's say the API call or you can connect to the databases so these are the different advantages that are mentioned in the documentation let's again go back to the documentation here as of now it's a download preview however you can find the different options for example UI test and web API test unit test other things also there and you can use those things so basically it is in the preview state as of now it's very free and you can try to use that and see the preview even if you want to improve something or you can take it as a reference for the test automation engineers you can try to mimic the same thing in your normal ID as well so this is, is all about the JetBrains Aqua ID so thanks all thanks for watching and have a great day